Hey guys, Dan Stopes in your Bronco headquarters. Today we are going to do some off-roading. And I got a little special treat. We're going to do a little comparison of a Jeep Wrangler. This is a 17. It's off our used car lot. Basically just a stock sport. So I want to do a direct comparison, a stock sport to a stock Big Bend, which are pretty much in the same channel of uh, equipment and stuff like that. And then I've got a base that we've lifted with the, the Sasquatch wheels and tires. And we'll see if adding that lift and a little bit more aggressive tires gives us a little advantage to get through some of these uh, gnarlier spots. But we're gonna go try and get stuck and see what happens. All right, we've kind of made our way to the back of Turkey Bay here. Uh, found this pond right here by accident. There's a little bridge here that I was going up and probably going a little too fast. I come up over there and I see this bridge and I gotta jerk it real quick so I don't go into it, but I'm in a Bronco and I can do that sort of thing. Joey's been doing great in the two door. How's it handling? It's pretty good actually. It drives really good. We're not doing anything major yet. We're just kind of making our way. We're about to start the gnarly stuff. Lost again, man. Grab it. Uh, not qualified to handle it. So we had another great day at Turkey Bay, a beautiful day out on Kentucky Lake. Uh, you know, every one of these held their own. The biggest difference here was probably tires. Um, you got some stock tires on the Wrangler, you got some stock tires on the Big Ben two-door. Uh, you have the Goodyear Mud Terrain MTs that come on the Sasquatch package on that base that we lifted and put the Sasquatch tires on there. That's a big difference. You know, when you get into these mud holes, it can grab more and even more so on rocks when you're at an incline and you're trying to get up some steep rocks it, these tires right here they don't have big lugs so what they don't do is they don't grab that uh, rock and help pull you up it's almost like a slick surface especially when we have mud on there slicking them up so that's really the big difference zoe had a little trouble getting up a steep hill on some rocks and that's really because the tires you you can't rock crawl that stuff with these kind of tires you're gonna have to give a run at it and bounce over it Whereas those tires can go nice and easy. It'll get you right on up there. So, I mean, it goes to show you any Bronco is capable unless you're just doing gnarly, gnarly stuff, which we didn't get a chance to do some stuff that probably would have caused body damage. We didn't do any of that. We don't want to cause any fender damage or paint damage. But, you know, that's where you're going to get into a play where you need more exotic stuff. Wrangler held its own. Wrangler can do 
a lot of things that a Bronco can do. I mean, it's it's a purpose-built off-road vehicle. So this wasn't a, an attempt to show you that the Wrangler can't do what a Bronco can. It can. Uh, it's the biggest deal in off-roading is the right suspension and the right tires. And I think that base with those mud terrains, uh, MTs on there showed that today. But what a great day we had. Uh, thanks Chris and Zoe for having fun with me and um, enjoy. What happened to the drone, Zoe? We failed. We crashed. You crashed the, the drone. The drone can't handle it. No, cannot handle it. <laughs> so I don't know if we can handle it. The Wrangler can handle it. Yeah, as you can hear. <laughs> so I am in the Wrangler now because Chris didn't want to back up through this trail because he's got a little chicken poo poo baby sack and he was scared to go in reverse in this very minor little trail. So Big Daddy D's got to take care of old Chris. Take care. And that's how you do it. Man, are you lost again? No, man. Isn't that supposed to be an egg? I don't think it's holding the tree up. It's not. Mark. All right, guys, so it goes to show you, you know, your equipment matters. If you really want to get the look and the ability, it's all about lift, wheels, tires. You need the lift for the ground clearance. We went over some gnarly stuff that you don't get quite the articulation unless you lift that thing up, give you more space for your wheels to move. Tread is a big deal. This is uh, the Sasquatch tire, the Goodyear Territory MT. It's a mud terrain tire. It works great. But man, we do Toyos, we do BF Goodrich, we do Nitto, all the big time brands, um, Falcon, you know, all the stuff. Any of those are very, very suitable. But when you upgrade from a base model with just very simple tires, a big bend, very simple tires, you can create an off-road machine without spending all that money. So this is why we call it a warthog because it's down and dirty and it'll do what you need to do and it looks great so once again thank you so much for uh, watching remember to subscribe to our channel remember to hit the little bell so you get notifications when we post new videos not only do we do fun stuff like this but we're going to be posting recalls informational stuff all kinds of news about bronco lightning ford in general follow us we're your ford source hope you had fun